Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. So today what I want to be talking about and what I'm going to be covering is under the topic of caring for your car or truck. And this is going to be the very first upgrade, if you can even call it that, because it's so simple yet so effective that I'm going to do for my 2021 Ford Bronco. So I think it's really important to when you first get your Bronco or really any car is to consider an air intake but you have to consider the right air intake because some air intakes are actually going to be taking the hot air from your engine, taking it into the air filter and having you to lose performance once your engine is actually warmed up and hot. So really I'm going to be covering if you do get a full air intake, which full air intake to get. And now that's not what I went with for two reasons. One, I've said it before, well, I'm cheap. And secondly, I like to go with what's effective. So I've gone with a K&N metal air filter, and it's a direct replacement for the OEM Ford air filter. Now this air filter is gonna get me more air into the engine, and I've made sure to keep my box my air filter box because I don't want that hot engine air going into the air filter. I want to take the exterior air and bring it to the engine. So I'm going to be covering exactly why I chose the air intake, the air filter that I chose. I'm going to talk about which air intake I would have gone with if I would have spent much bigger bucks for a full air intake system. I'll explain to you why I didn't go down that route. And today's going to be a bit of a quick video uh, to make sure this was quick. I want to do it in one edit. So I had to have the dog in my hands because when he's not in my arms, well, he'll bark or, you know, run across and catch a wire, move the camera around. Uh, last week, he made the camera fall right down off the stand. So I ended up taking uh, actually a couple hours to film something that could have been very quick and easy. But you know what? Sorry for this. Uh, he, when he's in my arms, he stays calm. I don't have to re-edit and or start over videos because he barked. And today I have to make this quick because it is springtime. It's gorgeous out and I've got to get ready for the summer. Uh, I've got uh, a few, you could say, a little bit of work to do outside. This video is going to be super helpful. And if it is helpful, uh, please help me out. Like the video early on. Uh, and if you do like these type of videos that talk about car care and different vehicles, performance, and really everything that has to do with a bit of a car truck obsession, please subscribe. So let's put the pedal to the metal and jump right in. Let's jump straight to the results. Why am I doing this? Why is this going to be my very first Bronco modification? And you can barely even call it a modification because the time it took me was the time it takes more or less to get a full tank of gas. It took me like five minutes. So really great results. I get about 30% more airflow. And I was having this little problem because I changed the resonator on my Mustang and well, all the gas wasn't being used up. Uh, so there was this popping sound, you know, I had a, uh, you could say like a backfire or a pop and that's because I didn't quite, I had too much gas for the air. So, you know, when you're going to have more air after the engine coming out from the engine, so better flowing air coming out of the engine, you need more air coming into the engine. And for my setup, a metallic air filter did just the job. I went with K&N because, well, uh, it's great and it's cheap. It gave me 30% give or take more airflow. And with that 30% more airflow, I got rid of that exhaust pop that I've had ever since I changed my resonator. Now, I think a resonator delete is gonna be obviously the second modification I'm gonna do to my Bronco. I'm really pleased with what it's done for my Mustang GT. And then finally, I'll change the exhaust on the back, like which I'm gonna be doing for my Mustang next. Now, why didn't I go with a full air intake? Well, a full air intake, I really highly recommend if you do go with one, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you get a closed box. Because if you don't have a closed box, you're gonna have all that hot air, which is over 200, 200 Fahrenheit, the, the top of your engine, you know, my Mustang calculates it and the Mustang temperature gauge was telling me that the top of my engine, the engine block is at, you know, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't want all that hot air from the engine bay going into my motor. 
the Mustang and you know all Fords are set up so it takes air from the front of the vehicle, the outside of the vehicle, that air that you're quickly driving into and it pushes it towards the engine. But in paper air filter, uh, it's made of paper, it's restrictive and you know this quick and easy metallic oiled air filter which you know will will filter out more particulates you know those really fine ones the oil is going to be picking them up and results heck i got 1.2 miles per gallon extra from doing the exact same daily drive so the 1.2 miles per gallon yeah it'll take a long time but eventually it'll pay for itself so just right here this is in real life live time to show you how quick and easy it is to change now of course you need a toolbox and if you don't have a socket set you know this is a bare minimum uh you know you you need to go out and get yourself a socket set that's step one if you don't have one of these it's like not having it's like showing up to a work site without having work boots it's just so basic so get out go out get yourself a socket set they're dirt cheap now very simple I just want to take off the, the air sensor because I just want to do a quick lift of the air box, slide the paper air filter out and put the, air, the metallic k and oiled air filter in. So I didn't want to take any chances. I didn't really have to do this, but I didn't want to take any chances of doing any damage to the O2 sensor. So screwed that off, undid the two clips on the front of the box uh and on the side of the box and then really i was able to just slide in slide in and out the filter so why am i doing all this simply put i want better throttle response i want better miles per gallon and i want better uh you know more air coming into the engine and my mustang actually really needed it because like you saw in that pre air filter uh engine run when I hit the throttle, uh, it would pop. It would pop because I had a little more gas really than I needed in my mixture. So what I really needed was more air. And one, like I've said before, I did not need as much air as a full air intake would have given me. So the difference in price was 70 US versus uh, once I do shipping on the full air intake, out in about $450 us so i find this a really effective cheap solution for getting just a little bit more power out of the vehicle now of course if i was thinking of doing some major modifications to bring major power to my vehicle well i would have gone with the air intake that gives me more air but you know you only need we have to recall that the air fuel mixture on an engine uh, needs to be balanced the air that comes into the engine also needs to be able to leave the engine and I'm not doing a complete straight pipe setup. If I was, I definitely would have gone with a full air intake. Uh, I'm not going to be running a full straight pipe setup. So I think that this metal filter is going to do the trick. And at the very end of the video, I'll show you uh, a little live uh, throttle and exactly what I did at the beginning of the video and you'll see that the pop is gone so I got the results I wanted I have noticed uh, and proven fuel economy and I do like the air uh, the throttle response and you can hear that air coming into the engine not as much if I would have gone with a full air intake like I had on my last Mustang GT and I really love the sound coming off my last Mustang GT it was a full air intake replacement and you could definitely hear that there was more air going to the engine. It had more of that, uh, you could say, whistling sound. Uh, you could really hear it sucking in that more air. But heck, I don't need it for this Mustang. I, I don't expect I'll be throwing on a supercharger and if I do, then of course I'm going to put on a full air intake. But this is a great solution, my old paper air intake after only 21,000 miles was absolutely filthy it needed to be changed now when you get your air intake here I am actually spending you know almost a minute cleaning it out there's actually little bits of plastic uh, so inspect your air filter to make sure those bits of plastic don't get sucked into your engine so ideally inspect it take an air gun clean it out 
make sure you don't have little pieces of plastic or rubber that are going to pull off of this and go into your engine. Now let's talk price. Price wise going with an air intake without a box, without that closed off box would not have been, it would have been a happy compromise. And the reason I didn't go with that down that route is I've got a very good friend, uh, Julian. He is a top mechanic, uh, works on the big rigs and he really advised against it. And I'll tell you his explanation, which I thought was fantastic. He said, when you don't have that, that protective box, well, first of all, you're losing the advantage of getting cooler air from the outside of the vehicle rushing to your air filter. Secondly, while you are going to get more air than the setup I'm currently doing right here, the major downside is, especially on a Bronco, you're going to be taking all the dirt from the road, especially if you're off-roading or doing any dirt roads, all that dirt goes into the engine bay from underneath, from your undercarriage. And that's going to get sucked towards your air filter and you don't want all that dirt going to your engine. Uh, the air, air filters are great, but if they've got constant dirt going on them, you're going to need to clean them sooner. And if you don't clean them on a, on a, on a more regular basis because of all that extra dirt, you're going to have long term issues. It's bad news bears for your motor. Now, here we go. I've got the startup now with the metallic air filter and I just love the results. Got rid of the pop. Got exactly what I wanted and what I needed for my setup and didn't spend needless dollars. Good bang for the buck. So Bronco, step one, first modification, of course, other than buying a winch is going to be buying an air filter. I'm going to change out my resonator for more sound and if need be also the mufflers. So if this video has been helpful, please like and subscribe and I'd love to hear in the comments section what you think your first Bronco modification will be and why. So in other words, what's the most important Bronco modification for you and why? Please add it in the comment box. Love to hear all about it and it'll help out the community. And hey, maybe I'm completely wrong about the, the, the whole air filter being a quick, easy first upgrade. Uh, and that's part of the reason why it's gonna be my first upgrade it is slightly longer than going for a full tank of gas. It gets you just a tiny bit of extra power, but it gets you that extra air. So have a great weekend. I'm out to take care of that gardening and the spring cleanup. And I wish you all more cars and more power.